Good morning, everyone. I figured I would address something that has been asked a couple of times, um, that being diagnostic cables, diagnostic dongles, and tuning software. And this is kind of both. So we'll start with the easiest. Um, this is a OBD11 generation two device, works with both Apple and Android. Um, this is a OBD11 first generation device. This only works with Android. And this is a generic uh, OBD reader that I have in both of my Jeeps. Um, so this is the closest thing that you can get to VCDS that isn't VCDS. I was having issues with this device not connecting to my iPhone. So I switched over to a Google Pixel 8 Pro, which is what I'm recording on now. Um, so now I have both of these, one in each one of the swaps, in addition to one of these. Uh, this is going to give you the best bang for your buck when it comes to being able to diagnose specific Volkswagen codes. Um, you cannot graph the actual TDI timing. So for that, I would prefer one of these cables. But um, in a pinch, you have the ability to read codes, which I think is very valuable um, when you have, you know, one of these swaps. Um, moving over, we have a VCDS cable, uh, and then we have a older uh, VAG uh, VCDS cable as well. This was called VAGCOM back then, but um, basically the same thing. So this is the newest software. Um, this is the older software that works on the ALHs. Uh, works perfectly fine. In addition to that, it also does um, the IMO delete with VAG Commander, if you can find a copy of that. So you can do IMO deletes on the EDC 15 for your ALHs. So here we come to the actual tuning software. This will not tune the vehicle. This will this will delete IMMO, but this will not tune. This is more reading information on the ECU. These are the two devices that I use for tuning the ECU. This is of course uh, MPPS version 13. And this is yes, version two. Um, this is faster. This is faster to open up. This is faster to connect, but I have issues actually pulling the file onto the laptop. So for me, I don't like this, um, even though it's significantly cheaper than this, um, but it does work, you know, in a pinch if I needed to do it and I didn't um, have my laptop, the software is easy to find. I mean, this isn't that difficult either, but you get what I'm saying. This to me is significantly better. It is slower, um, but it works every single time when I need to pull the uh, file off the ECU, it works great. So this is my personal preference, um, but there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, there are also you know, newer versions in 13. But, uh, but yeah, so this is how you tune your ECU when you have a file. Uh, this is how you read and data log and, and everything else. To the next topic, uh, actual tunes. So I've had basically every big name brand, Jeff Stevenson, Malone, Kerma, MR Tuning, uh, and Tech Mechtronics in one of my vehicles. Um, the only one I've run on the swaps has been Tech Mechtronics, so I will be forefront with that. But I have actually looked at files from um, Malone for, well, technically this this setup, uh, GTD seventeen fifty six. Uh, granted, that was two sixty injectors. These are two eighties that did have two sixties and a GTD. Um, so I've seen the files. I've actually looked into them. I have a, a generalized understanding of of how these ECUs work um, and how to tune them. I'm not a tuner by any means or stretch of the imagination, but I do have a, a decent idea um, about what's going on. So the reason I'm bringing this up is I've been running this thing, waiting for my tune from Techmetronics uh, for about 200 miles now, 200, 250 miles. And I guess I thought I knew what I should expect when I got my base tune, but I was absolutely wrong. Uh, I ended up leaving the neighborhood with the same exact throttle pedal that I normally do, and the Jeep went sideways. Granted, there is a little bit of a dip when you leave my neighborhood, um, but yeah, it, it went sideways. Um, it pulls extremely, extremely hard. Temperatures are perfectly fine. Boost was a little bit high. I think I boosted to 40 PSI uh, on the base tune instead of 34, but... I get the revision again last night. I flashed it last night uh, and, and it seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, 
the only reason I'm bringing this up now is because many of you may not be on Facebook and not a part of the group, so you may not see my post specifically about uh, you know the tune when I got it yesterday. Uh, but the tuning from Techmetronics is is head and shoulders better than any other tuning device, uh, uh, tuning software, excuse me, that I've used. Um, it works so 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 well that I'm <laughs> I'm hesitant to recommend anyone else. Um, this sponsor, this video is not sponsored. The, the tuning, everything I pay for myself, nothing is given to me. I think it's, it's wrong for me to advertise something. If, if, you know, they're giving it to me or at a discount and no, I pay full price for everything because I think that's the, the best way to do it. But, uh, but no, like I said, the tune works perfectly fine. I'm super, super thrilled. Um, come to find out everything I thought I knew about fueling with these, uh, VE pumps was completely off. Um, I don't I think the numbers off the top of my head is, you know, this thing is fueling 38% more fuel than that. So I asked for an update to that to give me the same fueling. Uh, I probably won't be pushing that one as hard as this one. Uh, supposedly these, these 11 millimeter pumps with larger injectors and what I have, cause I have two eighties in both of them. Um, they can put out, I think, I think if I remember correctly, 85, 90 or 95 milligrams per stroke, mega, mega grams, milligrams, whatever the heck they're called. Um, per stroke uh, with the largest injectors is well over 120. Uh, whereas this thing was initially set up with 51 or 55. And I think the factory is limited to 35. So the amount of fuel that can come out of these pumps is very substantial. So my recommendation is always going to be to go with Tech Mectronics because the kid seems to know what the fuck he's doing. Um,